Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. How are you doing? The weekend's nearly here. That's always a good thing. All right. Now, you may have read or heard or watched online or whatever that Lawrence O'Coley, fresh off the uh, incredibly exciting win against David Light, is going to defend his WBO BO Cruiserweight title against Chris Billum Smith. Um, and you may also have read that uh, Luis Alberto Lopez will fight... Uh, Michael Conlon for his IBF featherweight belt. And you may also have read that Lee Wood and Maurizio Lara will fight again for what is now Lara's WBA featherweight title. So you've got three good fights coming up. Oh, can't wait. The only problem is they're all on the same night. They're all on May the 27th. And that basically means that whoever wants to watch those fights is going to have to record two of them and watch one of them. Now, to be honest with you, um, as I've said many, many times before, I'm stream team all the way, but I do subscribe to The Zone because I want there to be a Netflix of boxing to rival, eventually rival the whole pay-per-view model because I hate pay-per-view so much. And feasibly, it could happen. I'm not saying it will, will happen, but it could happen. Uh, but I don't subscribe to BT Sport, who are going to hold the, um, the Conlon fight with uh, Lopez, and I don't subscribe to Sky, who are going to, uh, through Box, are going to promote the Lawrence Acoli, uh, Chris Bill and Smith fight. But I would like to watch all three of those fights. Now, I don't care whose fault this is. I don't care if, for example, Eddie Hearn comes out and says, well, we booked the, you know that, that evening first, and then Warren says, no, you didn't, we booked it first, and Ben Shalom says, actually, you're both wrong. I but Look, I don't give a toss. I really couldn't care less. The fact of the matter is you've got three promoters all putting major fights on the same night and forcing punters to choose. Not only choose in the sense that they've got to pick one of the fights to watch live. And of course, nothing beats watching a fight live. You can avoid the, you know, the result, I suppose, and watch it not knowing the result and get a kick that way. But nothing quite beats watching a fight live. And But it's not just that. It's the fact that a lot of those fans will subscribe to all three of those channels, to The Zone, to BT, and to Sky. And they are being forced to choose. Even though they're paying their money up front for a product, they're like, you know, it, it's just not right. It just doesn't seem right to me. Just Now, I, promoters have got to realise that this is a nonsense. And they've got to realise that they're alienating, not only alienating the public by doing stupidity like this but they're also diminishing their numbers because okay i guess you can watch it on a, a delayed recording but ideally you want people watching your fights live because those numbers look always look impressive and this sort of you know pissing contest doesn't help anyone because inevitably the the fan base gets split three ways so I fully expect all three of these fights live, when they're shown live, to have diminished figures. But again, I, I don't really care about the promoters. I only really care about the fans because I am one of them. Um, and I don't know, what will I do? I'll probably, I mean, I subscribe to DAZN. I'll probably save that. I'll probably watch one of the others on a stream. I might have two, two windows open on the stream on my desktop computer and... Um, Watch, you know, try and watch the two cards simultaneously, maybe. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. It just smacks me as being real nonsense that th three major promoters in the UK are putting major fights on on the same night. And is it time for the board to step in and say, look, come on, Larry, what are you doing? What is this stupidity? You know, I suppose there'll be claims of, well, you can't, you can't uh, police us because it's restraint of trade and so on. Uh, maybe true legally i don't know i'm not i'm not a legal eagle but um you would think common sense would prevail actually no you wouldn't would you not where money's concerned not where the corporate world is concerned um yeah but anyway i'm not amused what do you think um yeah let me know what you think i just think this is a nonsense and are you one of those people that subscribes to all three of those platforms do you subscribe to two or just one or none of them? Maybe don't subscribe to any of them. But tell me what you think. What do you think of this sort of thing? And what do you think can can be done? Do you think uh, it can be policed by the board? Do they have enough power? 
Probably not, I would say, but I wish I was wrong. Um, maybe there should be some sort of government involvement. I don't know. Someone sticking their sticking their nose in and saying, "Look, you're taking the." There's a there is such a thing as the <laughs> you know uh, rules and regulations for any company for any any industry. So I wonder if they're breaking any of them or bending any of them by um, by making their product potentially unavailable to paying subscribers. I don't know. It'd be interesting little legal debate. Um, might be able to find some sort of loophole for. I mean, God knows that promoters and corporate executives are fond of using loopholes to work for them. I wonder if they could find some sort of legal quirk that that might. Um, rain in this sort of nonsense but let me know what you think leave your comments below and um subscribe to the channel if you're new hit the like button if you like the video but we want to build the channel up so subscribe thanks anyway enjoy your weekend chat soon bye for now